Rudius Grey Rat of Jabba's reincarnation is an interesting MC. There will be spoilers up to the end of season two of the anime. So make sure to watch it and then come back and watch this. If you like anime character breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and let's begin. There are several things that makes him an interesting character. The struggles caused from his experience in his past life, his behavior, the events that I will call the incident, his relationship with his family, and his growth as a character. Rudius Grey Rat in his past life was bullied so bad that he locked himself in his room, stopped going to school, and he wouldn't even talk to his own family. When his parents died, he didn't go to the funeral, which led to a scene where he was inappropriately touching himself and people with baseball bats broke in and broke his computer. The interesting part about this was they show one of the times when he was getting bullied, he was standing up to three boys for cutting in the lunch line, which ended up getting him hit in the face by basketballs. Even though he was a shut-in, the reason why he died was he tried to help these teenagers that were about to get hit by a truck. This actually shows the potential of growth for him as a character and i find that really interesting now that event leads him to being reincarnated to paul and zenith gray rat he was given the name rudius he has all his memories from his past life and all his struggles as well if you were reincarnated or sent to another world would you rely heavily on the past and all the informations even if the new world had a different set of rules i believe this is what rudius did he even confesses it at a part we'll go over a little later. Since Rudius was from another world, he tends to treat conversations as a dating sim. He also treats events as if he was just playing an MMO rather than his real life that he is in now. This leads to the death of a boy named Goblin and also it leads to a, a horseman trying to extort him. Rudiger, his superb companion, saves him from being extorted and gets angry with him about the boy's death and teaches him when people are in trouble, you have to help. Don't worry about your own self-interest. Rudius comes off as two-faced since he always seems to be plotting something, and I think that also has to do with his memories from the past life and treating the world like a game. His uh, two-facedness gets him called out by Soldat, and eh, more on that shortly. Now, before we talk about the incident, we need to set the sage. Rudy is a degenerate. There's no doubt about it. Rudy stole Roxy's panties and made a religion around him. He listened in on his parents during nighttime activities. He would spy on the girls when they were bathing. Rudius even talks about how he would beat the clown to a childhood friend. He would even try to push some matters too far. Luckily, almost every time Rudy would do something that he wasn't supposed to do, he would be punished for it. Even his little sisters ended up calling him out for it. Even though he is a degenerate, Eric still cared for him deeply, and before she left to better herself, they traded limited edition cards. Her leaving had a severe effect on his mental state. As season two comes around, Rudy is starting to be a little bit more well-behaved. He even apologized when he accidentally groped Sarah uh, when he was trying to save her from falling. After he saves Sarah from a blizzard, they start getting close and end up going to share a bed together where the incident takes place. That's right. He had stage fright. Nicest way I can say it. This is probably the best thing to happen to him because remember Soldat from earlier? Well, the next morning, Rudius is getting drunk to deal with his problems and Soldat antagonizes him. And Rudy gets in a fight. Soldat doesn't fight back. Rudius is crying while punching Soldat in the face. We finally get an honest Rudy. This leads to us finding out that he is still completely messed up from Eris leaving him. For two years now, Rudy has had this problem. And while this is happening, his degeneracy slows down. He even started falling in love with his old childhood friend who was pretending to be a boy. In the end, this is what actually leads to curing his stage fright. Well, there was also an aphrodisiac involved, but let's ignore that for the fact because her staying the next day is what really did it rather than that moment. His degeneracy slowed down, and we can see that as before this part that cured him happened, he saw Felt, or Sylphie, and she was soaking wet, and they had to take her clothes off, and he said, I'll look away. So even though he is a degenerate, he still is finding that he can't be that way all the time, and I think the incident happened is probably the best thing for making him a better man and as well as a better person. Let's talk about his relationship with his family. Now this is intriguing. His family consists of his mother, his father, the maid, 
and his later on his two little sisters. This can also include Roxy and Sylphie. While Rudy was being trained and growing up at home, they were also in the house and he considers them family later on in the series, marrying the two. Paul and Rudius have a rough relationship. Since Rudius being from another world and all his memories from it as well, he admits at the end that he could never see himself as Paul's son. His father also knocked up the maid and Rudius threw his father under the bus to save both the maid and his unborn sister. He actually shows that he cares about the people in his family. After he gets back from the, the Mana disaster, which teleported them all to different places of the world, he is reunited with his father and his little sister Norn. Since Paul thinks so highly of Rudy, he scolds him and thought Rudy, Rudy of all people would have helped to find his missing members of the family rather than just trying to go home and playing hero. This leads to them fighting again and Norn sees Rudy is punching her dad in the face and pushes him off and it really causes her to hate Rudy and then later on she's forced to live with him and goes to school with him and she locks herself down in his room now in Rudy past life he did the same thing and Nord could no longer handle them comparing her to Rudy because she hates him because how could he do that to father? He actually sets a plan that allows him to sneak into the girl's dorm so he can go take care of his little sister. This reminds him of his past life and how his brother tried to talk him out of being a shut-in. And although Rudius didn't do much talking, he did hold his sister while she cried and helped her get out of her own funk, causing them to mend their relationship. Now, when it comes to his half-sister, Aisha, he has a much better relationship with her. When they are first reunited, he gives her his adventurer name and she says that she doesn't trust her brother because she found ladies underwear in a box she, and it was his most prized possession she then realizes that it's her brother and she apologizes for calling him bad name these two don't really have anything but love and support for each other his mother ended up being locked away and they had to kill a hydra to save her this leads to paul's death and Rudius losing his left hand. His mother no longer remembers anyone because she lost her memory. Rudius finally made up with his dad, and Paul ends up dying to save Rudius' life. His growth is actually really interesting. When we first meet Rudius, he was a shut-in who never left his room, overweight. Thanks to Roxy and his reincarnated life, he was able to get over his fear of going outside. He slowly stopped being a degenerate, and he ends up being a husband to not one, but two wives. He cares for his little sisters while trying to help out his friends along the way rather than trying to use them for his own benefits. After finding out the girl he tried to save was also transferred to this world, when she broke down because she couldn't make it back home, he took care of her. He formed a think tank to help solve the problem. He learned from Rudiger that he must always protect those weaker than him as well as always protect children. He grows to be a more honest with the people around him. He learns you can rely on others when you are down and not keep it to himself like he did in his old life. Rudy had many setbacks in his growth, but he slowly but surely learned from each experience. What is to come next for Rudy? Will he continue to grow as a person? I can't wait to find out more about the character. Who is your favorite character in this show? Was it Rudy? Thanks for watching and check out my character breakdown of Kaiju number eights, Kafka Hivino. See you next time.